Hey everyone and welcome back. We had just finished exporting our little prototype over here and this is the GIF. Right now what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna close cap so I'm just gonna press command W to get out of here and it'll pop up a little dialog to tell me do I wanna discord this recording. I've already saved it so I'm not too worried. If you wanna save more files, whether it's a GIF or an MP4, you should go ahead and do that now. So I'm just going to discard it and I'm going to take a look at my GIF. So I'm just going to press the space bar on a MacBook. And that's actually looking really great. It's pretty high quality GIF. Perfect. So I think this is going to work great for all different scenarios, whether it's showing my teammates, like I said earlier, or even just showing my clients and even just trying to show some great interactions for an interview. So I'm gonna jump right back into Figma right now. Okay, so we're back in Figma and we're gonna take what we just made and plop it into a page just so we know that it works even within Figma. So it's always great to be able to kind of show your teammates what you've been doing with the prototype, but sometimes I'm working on things like a portfolio site. So I have one over here and I like to just drag and drop GIFs into here just to see how they work. So what you can do is you could just press shift command K for MacBook. And if you don't know the shortcut or if you're not comfortable using the shortcut right now, you can just go into this shape tool and click place image and you'll see the shortcut over there as well. So I'm gonna open that image And I'm just gonna place it right here. And I'm just gonna hold shift while I shrink it down. And I'm gonna place it within my little portfolio site. So I'm gonna remove what was in there. And bring this down a bit. Great. So I think that's gonna be fine. If you press play on your site, oops, there we go. So you'll be able to actually see the GIF play there. If you notice within your layers, you'll see the actual little image over here, the play button, just to show you that it's an actual GIF or an MP4 or something like that it is something that is plain. So you can easily place that into one of your designs if you need to. Great, so that is one way you can actually create GIFs of your interactions using CAP.